Hey everyone, Dan Shields here. Good to see you again. Uh, today we're going to be going through the song Gyra by Elevation and Maverick City. Great song. Super easy parts though on guitar, so I'm going to dive right in. Uh, Sound-wise, I'm going to be playing um, a pretty clean sound, but it's got you know typical CCM, worship, big verb on it, and a lot of delay. Incidentally, a lot of times uh, delays on the recordings that I do, I normally have them in stereo. They spread a little bit more, but because of the way my sound card is, I can only do one channel uh, and one channel of mic, and so you don't get that uh, big spread, but they, they do sound, uh, if you listen to the front, you'll hear stuff sort of ping-ponging around. Anyway, on the, um, on the chorus, I'm in the neck position, and we're going to be doing a really simple line. It's basically out of a uh, D major scale. It'd be the C form if you know the caged forms. And I'm going to start with my first finger on C sharp. So it's C sharp, D, and then F sharp, G, A, B, D. Incidentally, that's called a, um, a hexatonic scale. It's a really great scale to be able to use if you're soloing. It has a really nice sound to it. Uh, you avoid the C-sharp note, which sometimes can clank against some of the chords. All right, so that's your basic uh, chorus sound. All right, then it's going to take us into the tag. And on the tag, he does something very interesting. Oh, first of all, I'm in the key of uh, D here. It's played in the key of E-flat. If you play it in E-flat, I would do it with a capo. I don't always love capos because sometimes you have to tune when you put on a capo. You should always tune uh, if you can. But we often play songs back to back, so I don't have much time to tune in between. Um, but if you're playing it in E-flat, use a capo for sure because this next part would be really hard to do without it. All right, so what I'm going to do on the next part is I'm going to start on the 7th fret E note on the A string and then my open D string, and I'm going to just toggle back and forth. So it's going to be like this. And then I'm going to stay there, tag, then I'm going to stay there, this is the verse 3, so that was E to D, uh, sorry it stays on D. And then it goes to the F sharp. All 
right. Now, that's an oddball bar there, so just to talk through that, the, the chords go. Now, it feels like it's like a, you know, three, four bar or something like that, but it's not. It's simply doing this one, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, four, one. So when you do this, um, it drops early. All right. Then it's going to take you back into the line. I changed my sound to make it a little bit more growly. Uh, I might go to my middle pickup. So it just has some more edge on it. That's going to continue through the tag. And then we get into the chords. And on the chords, I'll probably go into my, um, into my bridge pickup. And then I'm going to just do the middle uh, three strings. So E, A, C sharp, F sharp, A, D. And then I'm going to do G, D with an F sharp, just regular cowboy chords. Sometimes I avoid those low notes because the bass is taken and sometimes it gets like cluttery sounding, but... This is forever enough, more than enough. Oh, sorry, I'm already love chosen. You know who I am. And here's that oddball bar again. section the next time it goes through that oddball chord so E minor D, D regular D sus E minor D sus E minor 7 when I play that E minor 7 again I'm not necessarily doing the whole I'm just doing the notes uh, E, G, D, G. And then the regular uh, D chord. And that's basically it. That's basically all the parts for it. But uh, cool song. Hope you enjoy it. And until next time, God bless.